we are so very close to getting the very last coat of primer on the surface here in the owner's hole. Uh, just above me there is bulkhead five and behind me here at the entrance to the owner's berth, bulkhead six. So this whole hallway, minus the cabinets, is just about ready for a last coat of primer, but I'm going through and doing the very last touch-ups, kind of a coves and things there. Of course, biggest problem I'm running into is keeping this line here. I <laughs> still haven't figured out the best way after trying so many methods. And the funny thing is I seriously thought I was there a couple of days ago. I put a post up on uh, Facebook and Instagram saying that it was my last day and everyone's like, yeah, yeah, sure it is. And of course everyone else was right. It is not my last day. But I'm gonna work today to get these last things on here so that tomorrow I can sand and we'll be painting over on the guest hall. So hopefully this will be right behind it. Yesterday we got the stern tube actually bonded in place finally over on the starboard side. Today we actually are going to get the strut bonded. We're going to use our handy little laser now from Colby and get that so it's precise and hopefully one time and I don't have to try to adjust it later on. It's fun. easier working on this side without all of the junk. Not quite as much junk. Not as much junk. Not as much, but just as dusty. Just, hey, I already swept this off. <laughs> okay. Sorry. You should have seen how bad it was earlier. I keep forgetting that's actually not dust. That is fairy compound. Working with multiple lasers today. So to make sure that the laser that goes through a stern tube is gonna hit the correct place, Matt is getting everything lined up. And we've got the center line on this little bulkhead here. And then he can make sure that the template is positioned properly to come through the hole that we drilled, run through here as it's supposed to, so that when we put the stern tube in with the laser in it, it follows that same line. This is all using the assumption that I have the lines in here correct also. <laughs> so. So, center line mark there. Going through right in the center. It just needed Hitting the center line on this bulkhead. And I have actually a center line mark on my template as well. And it's hitting straight down that. So I know that this, the template at least, is now centered in here along this. Alrighty. Let's see if I can make this as awkward as possible. And I'll show you on the other side why we're going to this extreme to make sure that the strut is actually straight. I was off by just, I mean, a couple of millimeters, not, not a huge amount, but you can see it down at the bottom and it's gonna take a little bit of work to manipulate it and get it so it's absolutely straight looking, so ferret out and, and so on on the other one. And I wanna make sure that I don't have that problem on this. So we're gonna use that laser, shoot it through there, make sure we're in the right position. Then with our center line up here, we can make sure that this is completely straight in here and then bond that into place properly this time. Jess. Time for me to go in. Time for you to go and uh, get this on and figure out where you need to be. All right. All righty, turn the laser on. Okay, you're gonna need to go um, to port. Keep going a little bit more. A little bit more, and then go up. Uh, starboard just a hair more. Stop right there, you're perfect. Right on the line.
are not turning out the way that I hope that they would have. This is supposed to be my last run going through here. I mean, I knew I skipped on scan to redo that, but this last bottom section here just didn't fill in anything. It's all curvy and it's gonna have to be done again. And I can't guarantee that the next one will be right. So I think I'm gonna give myself a small break and go outside and meditate. This is a really straightforward technique and I'm gonna talk you through every step of the way. Well, just as I was about to start my little meditation outside the tent, a huge thunderstorm came upon us, so I have ducked into the office. As you know, building this boat can be a tremendous source of stress for both Matt and I, and what I'm working on right now, with the sanding and fairing and doing the coves, and there are so many times where it just feels like I'm not making any progress. So after having that little breakdown a few months ago where I was in the guest head and it just felt like no matter how many times I worked on it, I was never going to move forward. I realized that I had to make some changes. So I have added daily meditation into my life now. With the help of Headspace, who I would like to thank for sponsoring this video today, I can take just little segments, even like three to five minutes a day, just break off and if I need to do breathing segments, I have that. And the great thing is too, all I need is my phone and a set of earbuds. I can pretty much just sit anywhere and drown out the rest of the world while I do my meditation sessions. We have these really great set of trails, about a five minute drive from the marina that I haven't spent enough time in in our two years here. So now I am being very mindful of my space and forcing myself to use part of my lunch break to drive out here and use Headspace's intention walk while I just clear my mind before getting back to work for the rest of the day. Let's really ground ourselves and set an intention for being here. So let's take one big deep breath in. We've ended our walk now at the Chesapeake Bay with the beautiful Bay Bridge in the background and the Metapeak Pier. So I am nice and relaxed again and ready to get back to the work of coving, fairing, and sanding. And right now they are offering our viewers for a few weeks only a free trial of 60 days. They've been proven to show that within 14 days of using this, you can reduce stress, which I can tell you is true. As I sit during my work days, I can just kind of like make it all go away for a few minutes. So make sure to click the link in our description box below, but make sure to do that quickly before it disappears. We are ready to do some glassing today after having bonded the uh, skeg part into the port hull. Now we're actually going to go and glass it to the hull base and then after that we can go through the process of lining up the stern tube, getting that bonded in, glassed in. So much glassing fun. Oh my gosh. Uh, and then what we need to do is make that protective strut. Um, I may hold off on that for a little while until I figure exactly how I want to laminate that in. But uh, at least we have that basic structure in now, so once we do get that hybrid system, we can start that install. Yep. So much classing to do, let's get started. two layers of the 1708 on it. Hopefully Matt has not messed my side up at all because I had all the air bubbles out. Problem was is the first layer started to kick already. Um, it's it's kind of hot. So it uh, is making it a little bit more difficult to get the bubbles out of the bottom layer, the first layer against the foam. And so just want to make sure that there aren't any because I don't want to have to grind this out and redo any of it. There's always a certain point in glasswork where you just have to stop and walk away because you end up making it worse as you try to fix it. I'm at that point. Hopefully Matt walks away, but I'm going to go back to sanding and fairing because within the next few days, we should be able to take the very last coat of our primer to the owner's hole between bulkheads and five and six, just like where that walkway is. Just a couple more coves, a couple more little areas, and then I can call that good. 
did you really want to see me do any more sanding, fairing, or coving? Of course you didn't. Nobody wants to see any more of that, or very few of you did. So instead, I'm going to take a second and tell you about a chance to come meet us in person and talk about the catamaran build because we are going to be at the Newport, Rhode Island boat show from September 14th through the 17th. And not only that, but we had the chance to offer you $5 off your one day admission ticket by using code NJSAILING5. And that's good on Friday the 15th, Saturday the 16th, and Sunday the 17th. So if you're going to come out, make sure to use that code. Matt and I have never been to the Newport area before, so we are incredibly excited to go. We've heard so many great things about the boat show. So if you are around the area, make sure to stop by and say hi to us, and we look forward to meeting you there. In last week's episode, you saw us bond the stern tube to the skeg, and the next step for us to do on the starboard hull was to do a full layer of glassing, wrapping our 12 ounce double bias from the hull down the skeg, around the stern tube, and back up the other side. After I did a cleaner with styrene, Matt went through with a bit of thickened resin to smooth out any gaps and make it easier for the glass to lay out properly. Recently, we bought ourselves a new roll of 12 ounce fiberglass, and it did not seem to want to stick as well as glass that we've used in the past, which means Matt had to get his side on before it could move to mine. And there was a lot of extra work to be done with our metal rollers to work out all of the air bubbles underneath. In the end, we managed to get a finish we were happy with, but we are not looking forward to all the extra layers that will eventually have to go on top of this one. We're halfway through the week. It's the perfect time to check in with yourself. Maybe you're at a loss of motivation and need a boost. Whatever you're feeling is okay. It's perfectly human, especially under stress. The important thing is noticing it and giving yourself what you need. Ah, this green epoxy fairing compound. There's something about it. I love it so much. So much easier to work with than the polyester fairing compound for me. So I'm actually quite enjoying my days here now as I do this. Not quite as hard before. Lots of repetitive tasks, but it feels like each time I am making progress. Very close to getting this ready for the next coat of primer. I think it's only had two and for, I think we want at least like three before doing the final coat. So that should be going on pretty soon. And then we'll be able to do the head next to me as well, which hasn't even gotten its first coat yet. So that's gonna be a total transformation. So I'm just gonna do a last round of coves here and then behind me here as well. And then hopefully in the next two days or so, we should be able to get the primer just our regular all grip primer on here, but let's take a visit over to the owner's hall, which is so close to getting painted. So many more coves on this side. I've actually started to fair a couple of the cabinets as well. Usually just while this is waiting to dry before I can sand it, need like an hour or so, move on to something else that I can work on. I think I've gotten this straightened out now. Not sure if I should do one last pass on some of these. Not quite sure what is good enough. But this hole here is not gonna get any more of the all grip high build primer. We're going to all quick, which is going to be the final coat of primer before we paint. The only thing is, and it was basically ready to go, is there was a little hiccup with shipping. We thought we were going to get our all quick in a few days ago, but it's actually not going to be here till next week, so we can't move on to that. So I guess while I have the time, I'm just gonna keep <laughs> touching up because I can't help myself. Although it's the end of the day, so I'm gonna head out and not think about it again until tomorrow. I'm done in desperate need of a shower to wash all of this dust off. I'm 
middle of August, I'm still gonna be so ready for a hot shower right now. So make sure to join us next week where we do get primer on one or potentially both of the hauls. And don't forget to use that link in our description box to start your 60 day free trial of Headspace. Japan